What is the Overseas Vendor Registration Scheme, also referred to as OVR for GST in Singapore and what is the purpose of this scheme? So this scheme is introduced in recent few years and let's understand the rationale behind it. So when we speak of GST, the normal rationale behind GST till few years back is as follows. GST is mainly Singapore's internal affair about tax revenue. So government charges this GST on the domestic consumption or the goods those are sold domestically. It is generally not relevant for the export of goods. Singapore registered companies are subject to GST normally and normally foreign entities which supply goods to consumers in Singapore are not subject to GST. So they don't need to do anything specific. If the goods enter into Singapore and if they are more than $400 value, then automatically GST will be calculated by customs and it will be charged to the end customers. But here the foreign entity doesn't have to do anything. So this was the logic or this was the operating mechanism till few years back. Now what has happened in last 10 years, there is the emergence of digital marketplace. So you know now many software companies and many entertainment companies and many electronic media companies have come and emerged onto the horizon. And what happens in this case is company is not present in Singapore. They are registered somewhere else maybe most probably in USA or any other location but they still have sizable turnover in Singapore and majority of the cases in majority of these cases that goods delivery or the services delivery is done online they don't need any setup in Singapore it primarily happens via internet if you don't charge any GST to these companies then it will not be a level playing field uh, in comparison to other players so which are these digital marketplaces I am referring to? So these are some of the names. For example, Netflix. Netflix now provides kind of a cable TV which is on the internet. So Netflix did not really open office anywhere else other than USA. But people in Singapore can subscribe online and uh, on internet they can watch these movies and programs they have. Same is the case with Spotify and Amazon Prime. Salesforce is another example which actually provides a CRM software. So again a person can just sign it up and start using it. Though Salesforce will be primarily for business uh, customers. Another two examples are Google Play and Apple iTunes or Apple Store. So people can just buy some services like games, maybe music, puzzles. So there are so many apps on Google Play, Android Play uh, marketplace. And you can just buy it by connecting your credit card and it will be delivered to your mobile phone. So these are essentially the marketplaces that I am referring to. There will be many but these are the prime examples. So now if Google Play supplies this uh, applications or these games or whatever it is to people in Singapore and the population is 5 million and maybe 2 million people buy this kind of subscriptions and they make significant amount of money maybe 20-30 million dollar annual turnover and if there is no GST then that's kind of not correct. So that is where this overseas vendor registration scheme came into picture and the rules of this OVR scheme are as follows that if you are a foreign company which has an annual global turnover exceeding 1 million dollars and if you make B2C supplies of digital services to customers in Singapore exceeding $100,000 in a year. So note here it is B2C supplies and amount is $100,000 in Singapore. You must register for OVR scheme and after registering you must charge GST to these customers and report and pay it to IRS. So then even though you are a foreign company you are in the purview of normal GST rules and regulations. That is basically the point is. So if the service address where the service is delivered or whatever that media is delivered is in Singapore, GST is applicable. And also same rules apply for electronic marketplace operator that is Google Android Play Store or Apple Store. Now there is one more complexity in relation to this and I hope authorities will solve this complexity. So the main focus of the scheme is on digital supplies to B2C segment. So you know households in Singapore subscribing to Netflix and 
people, individual users who are buying some products or softwares on uh, Play Store. That is the focus of this scheme. However, if a GST registered business avails these services, then such a business need to provide GST number at the time of service sign up to the service provider. And if he provides the GST number, then overseas vendor will not charge GST to such a vendor. Meaning, if my company is GST registered and if I am availing Netflix services, let's say that in my office, uh, I want to stream Netflix uh, content. Then in that case, while registering, I can provide my GST number, my company GST number to Netflix. And if I provide that, then Netflix, when they bill to me, they will not charge GST to me. So this is kind of a bit confusion and many people get a uh, bit bogged down in this. So in summary, overseas vendor registration scheme is brought in to tackle the GST on B2C supplies primarily, which are made in digital marketplace. Thank you for watching this video. This video was brought to you by Epica Consulting Singapore. Subscribe to our channel today to get notified when new videos are posted.